Hello, Dustin, and welcome back to the Kaisen Adventures. So, we're going to play Dragon Age 2 so that we don't have to think about other things and engage with them because I'm kind of tired of that. Tired of being engaged all the time, you know? Sometimes you just want to turn your brain off and give your good friend Isabella a fucking present that you found in an alley, okay? So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna give Isabella a present, get her back in our party, and then probably go talk to the Viscount about the Kunari being PO'd about their something, something, somebody stole from them. Okay, let's do it. I have something for you. Ooh, what's this? Oh, isn't that just the cutest thing? We're not flirting. Are we flirting? Oh, shit, I should have thought this through. We can flirt if we want to. We can leave our friends behind. Because our friends don't flirt. Just kidding, our friends do flirt. Everyone flirts in this game. Um, we can flirt and still do Meryl's storyline. It's just gonna... Oh my gosh, I thought we decided this, Sydney. Stop being so wishy-washy. Okay, so we're gonna flirt. Ready? You can't see it, but below deck, there's a perfect replica of you, with a dozen sailors in attendance. Yikes. You tease. <laughs> I'm sure there isn't. It is a worthy goal to work towards, however. Having a ship again, she means. She wants this a ship. A gesture. It is. Flirting is okay. Don't forget, flirting is fine. Remember? I googled it. I googled it and it's officially safe to flirt with her. It's not like it's not like anyone's gonna be upset later. Because apparently this group of people is like the most laid back ever. Ooh, an email. I mean a letter. There isn't any email <laughs> in Kirkwall. Um let's finish our quest we're currently on and then we'll do we'll check our email. <laughs> I can't believe I just said email, like, automatically, like I saw a little letter and that's the first thing I thought was email, like, it really dates us, doesn't it? Walk into the keep like, what up, I've got a big sword. Go talk to the Viscount about problems. Years of nice, quiet anxiety. Gone. <laughs> Along with a whole street. The Canari were blameless. You're right. A mad elf pushed by zealots, likely hidden in the very groups I have to appease. The Maker has a grand sense of humor. And the Arishoff. I suspected he had no plans to leave. I didn't know it was just as annoying for him. Hmm. Keep the worst of them off his back, and it'll be all right. But that is the problem. It has already escalated, despite your efforts. Shame. What happened? A Kanari delegate and entourage paid me a visit. It was civil, tentative, hopeful. They left my chambers with precision but were not reported by the outer guard. They are missing almost literally from my doorstep. What do you imagine will be the Arishot's reaction? We need to get out in front of this, and fast. I feel I've been trying to turn a stampede for some time now. Someone is pushing very hard. Speak with Seneschal Brown. Then you will see why I cannot trust anyone else with this. <laughs> Seneschal Bran. Seneschal Bran cereal. Seneschal Oak Bran with extra fiber. You have information about the missing Kunari? I am to help you, yes. Viscount Dumas would appreciate discretion in this matter. I would prefer that you were not involved at all. But that is neither here nor there. I'm a 
having a hard time picturing the abduction of a Canary entourage. Unfortunately, they were not at their best. Their swords were tied into their sheaths, as I advised. Oh. It seemed a respectful compromise. Even I know you cannot separate a Kunari from his weapon. Hmm. So he had them tie their swords up so that they couldn't attack the Viscount. But then when they left, they were attacked. Which is embarrassing for for Seneschal brand cereal. It sounds like you don't want them found. I must think of what is best for the Viscount's office. Bringing attention to such an incident benefits no one. Yeah, but you would do nothing. Someone will find out the eventually. The neutral hostiles at best. There is no relationship to salvage by overextending ourselves on their behalf. I'm kind of tired of listening to him speak, so let's move on. I'm sure you have suspicions about what happened. My concerns are well founded. This could not have escaped the notice of the city guard. Unless they were involved. <laughs> Aveline's gonna be like, excuse me? Report? <laughs> Several. You should start with one of them. Oh shit. Although where you find a swordsman so eager to sell his honor and duty, I'm sure I don't know. The hanged man. Hanged man. Got to be. Oh. Right. Then you know what to look for. I can't imagine this has occurred without notice. There is always a weak link. Please keep this quiet. The Viscount is under enough scrutiny as it is. Goodbye, Oak Brand. Oh. Here's Seamus, by the way. The guy that we didn't rescue. Aha. Uh -huh. Good day, sir. So if there's a guardsman who is like fucking off his duty and being manipulated with coin, obviously he's at the hanged man. At night time, because where else? I don't know what that is. There's tons of quests we're gonna be able to get started on. But first, you know what we're gonna do. We're gonna check our email. Dear Hawk, you're my hero. Fan mail. We could also call it fan mail. It's not actually fan mail, though. Legit letters. From Matcha. She's, um, Karen the Templar's brother. Sir Hawk, I wanted to thank you for helping my brother. I worry about what the Templars will do to Karen, but it's what he wants. He's grateful that you defended him before Sir Cohen. Thank you. From the both of us, Matcha. Oh, that wasn't even a quest. It's just a... That was literally fan mail, wasn't it? <laughs> hey, Mama. Hey, Crest Family Shield. Maybe I should, like, someday I should make some enchantments or something. I don't know. Throughout the game, sometimes you can talk to people. If you need any enchantments, I'm sure <sighs> Oh, damn. More often than not, they just say some kind of thing in a box. But I really wish that they would talk more often. I clicked on the wrong button. Journal. So this is the one I was doing just now, but we're going to take a break and do some companion quests because we don't want to do all the main plots before we do these. So we've got the long road which i know for a fact is fun we have descent which i think is classic like mage rights shit with anders which is fun and we've got meryl's thing which is super important super important for romance and stuff because we gotta do things with her you know to help her out so we gotta pick one of those to do I don't know how to pick because we're going to do them all. And we have plenty of time. <laughs> plenty of time. Why don't we save this one? Okay? Because, I don't know, because, like, anticipation? You know? It just makes, it just makes something more exciting. I think we should do this one because it's funny as hell. I mean, I shouldn't have said that, because now you know what it's going to be. I mean, you don't actually know, but you'll see. 
You will see. We're gonna go back up to the Viscount's Keep. Talk to Evelyn the Barracks. Because it's one of my favorite quests. We're gonna go talk to Aveline at the barracks. We're gonna walk in slow motion because my computer is slow. It's different here as captain. Feels like family. That's super. Catch up, please. Hawk, oh, I need a favor that I can only trust to you. You can always ask. It should be a small matter, but I worry. I need you to give something to Guardsman Donick, here in the barracks. No questions, and he is not to know it's from me. Oh yeah, this is that guy whose name sounds similar to somebody else's name. I mentioned him like a few videos ago, but I honestly cannot remember why. Donick, the one we pulled from an ambush. The event that put me here. But this is a different need of the guard and its captain. And you're doing very badly at the no questions part. And I will keep doing badly. It must be something important if you're going to all this trouble. That's none of your business. That seems abrupt, even for you. I already regret this. I'm not about to make it worse by exposing unnecessary facts <laughs> she makes it sound like you can accept that or not such a scary thing say. i'm not gonna ask her any more questions very well Evelyn. if it means that much thank you and please hurry back with his reaction i appreciate this hawk i really do there's options to flirt with Aveline like throughout the story but you can't romance her isn't that sad? Like, of all the people. My strong arms, girlfriend of my heart. Guardsman Dunny. Sir Hawk, it's been some time. You're here in Hightown now, right? I think the captain mentioned it. I see your uncle now and then on my patrols, but we don't talk. That's good. He's a jerk. <laughs> Here, take this. I don't this like being Red you. Hawk. It's apparently very important. I'll take you at your word. It's a copper relief of marigolds? Uh, and it helpfully says so. Marigolds. Mm. Well, how crafty. <laughs> Is there a meaning to this that I should know? <laughs> it's apparently garbage. <laughs> Just keep it. <laughs> I'm sure it's more than it seems. Uh. <laughs> it would have to be. Right. I'm sure we both have things to do. Of varying import. <laughs> I can't tell. Sir Abel. If that's supposed to be an insult. Is there some reason Abelene just made us look like idiots? <laughs> so absurd. <laughs> A varying import, he says. Like he's trying to say that he has more important things to do. Oh, I forgot to level up Isabella. Oh. I forgot about that. That's super important. Picking locks. She needs to be able to pick locks. That's my main purpose for her. Oh, I like this. I like that. Except I don't know how to use it, so I don't know why I clicked it. You're back. Of course you are. You're efficient. Get things done, good or ill. Oh, how mean. So, how did Donick react? As one might expect when confused. I thought it was clear. Metal is strong, copper age is well, flowers are soft. <laughs> Squint. I've clearly gone about this the wrong way. <laughs> don't talk to him again. <laughs> Just take this, the patrols, for next week. <laughs> Post it to the roster and just... listen. <laughs> really? Just walk over there and post the roster? <laughs> I want his honest reaction without the captain present. 
You could just have him hold off. <laughs> this isn't about an accusation I can put in a report and explain. I need someone unofficial. See, look at this. I'm not gonna flirt with her, but I wish I could. Alright. Posting the roster just over there. I need to know exactly how he reacts. That's key. Thank you. Like, another reason why we can't flirt with Aveline is because Aveline is waffle good and Kyson is, like, chaotic good. <laughs> so, like, they can't be- they're just not compatible. Will you click? Hey, Donick! Whose pucker have you been greasing to get high town? What? That's gross. <laughs> you're daft. I'm working dockside on those smugglers. Says here you're guarding the square. Always been a make-work job, that one. You someone's pet? Check your eyes. It's a mistake. Says the pet. <laughs> you have got to be kidding me. What did I do to get that post? Oh boy. <sighs> Donick thinks I'm punishing him. But Hightown is a safe patrol, a reward. Why are you rewarding you him? You wanted his reaction. <laughs> All right. I'll fix this. This is the best I line. Need, I need three goats and a sheaf of wheat. <laughs> You'll take them to his mother. <laughs> really? It's a dowry tradition. Maybe it will smooth the process. <laughs> Hold a moment. You're sweet on the boy. <laughs> so help me, whore. I will break you. <laughs> oh, this is glorious. All this flailing is her idea of courtship. <laughs> Heavenly, you know you can talk to me. What am I to say? That a grown woman can't speak her mind. I've been focused on being captain for so long, that's all I know. I'm confused. Wasn't Lady Manhouse married already? And that was a long time ago. It was easier, or seemed to be. I'm not gonna bug her about Wesley, and I'm not gonna flirt with her. Why is this difficult for you? It's obviously because she's adorably awkward. I'm not gonna needle her about being alone. I can't drag him in here right now. Just say the word. Oh, and how would that look? The captain ordering her guardsmen to to uh, Her brain just turned off. So she go was out, like, getting drunk. Yeah. Shame is a great equalizer. <laughs> what? Just go out somewhere, like it's that easy. It'll work on me. What? Too simple. Tell Donick, invite him to the hanged man. Don't tell him about me. Make something up. It's a surprise, or just you, or a group, anything to get in there. It's a surprise. He's not like the others. I don't want him to think he's meeting the captain. Oh boy. I'm like the kids in middle school. I'm like going back and forth. Sir Adonic, are you free? I need to ask you something. I have no immediate patrols. Why? This is like one of the weirdest days of Donick's life. Everyone's going out. Just be at the tavern later. It's nothing to be concerned <laughs> about. Meet me at the hanged man. Very well, Sir Apwalk. I guess I'll see you there. It's really baffled. Does she just... Yeah. He thinks that... I mean, obviously, he thinks that Kaisen's asking him out because <laughs> because I gave him like Hope the day is some well. mystery present. Ooh, mystery present. Who knows what the purpose is? Later that night at the Hanged Man. I'm really glad that this image is hanging by his feet, because I can just pretend that he's, like, being irritated 
to not like Hanged. Like, he's just being slightly irritated. This is that guy who we have to fight. We're not gonna fight him yet because we're busy doing silly things. There were supposed to be others coming, right? Plans change, apparently. Right. Look, I should really, um... Just give it a moment. <laughs> the music is so awkward, it's like... Boom, 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 boom. Another round? Make a yes. needs to get really drunk because he's very confused and awkward. <laughs> She's like, call it off. <laughs> Her face. <laughs> His little nose switch. <laughs> it's so awkward. Oh, gross. Where are we helping? So, Aveline. Aveline is great. Look, if this was all an attempt to get closer to me through the captain, um, you're just not my type. <laughs> all this plain shy business. I like a little backbone. Oh no. I have to go. <laughs> Thanks for the drinks. Emily needs to grow a backbone. <laughs> mm. I... I couldn't do it. What did he say? He thinks I'm interested in him. I'm an idiot. <laughs> I won't argue with that. <laughs> if he were that far gone, we would have hidden from the start. Would it have ended any worse? Mm. I need to talk to him. But I'm a mess unless I'm on patrol. I'm good at that. Killing high women doesn't exactly provide an intimate setting, though. <laughs> and I'm tired of embarrassing myself. Aww, Get your butt together. Then I'll clear the way <laughs> and you'll talk to Dominic. <laughs> That's not the right Putting phrase. Putting you in danger just makes it worse. <laughs> you made it my problem. I'm fixing it. Very well, Hawk. You push. <laughs> you clear the route up the wounded coast, and I... will live to regret this, I'm sure. I, like, totally... <laughs> rivalry! <laughs> Eveline's slightly mad that I'm like pushing her to actually do something about her fucking crush. So like I accidentally said, get your butt together. <laughs> but you're supposed to say, I need to get more my people. You're supposed to get say, get your butt in gear <laughs> or get your shit together. <laughs> but I did not say that. I said the wrong thing. Okay, so I need um, someone to fill my Eveline Warriors spot. So we're gonna... Penrus is gonna come with us. It'll be a little awkward because we haven't fought with him for a while, but we can't take Aveline because she's doing something else. You know what I- like, she's on patrol and we're clearing the way ahead of her. <laughs> oh, shit! I forgot about this! <laughs> the story just got hijacked by Fenris! Oh, fuck! <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> Stop right there! You are in possession oh. of stolen property! Okay. Back away from the slave now and you'll be spared! Yeah, we only have six minutes, so I hope that Fenris can wrap this up pretty quick. Fenris is a free man! I won't repeat myself! Back away from the slave now! I hope he falls to his death. I'm not your slave! <laughs> this is so funny, because we have not been engaging in this kind of drama lately. You know, we've just been doing other stuff. Totally, I just completely forgot about this. Got him. Now we just have to go get all the bad guys. Oh boy. Fire. I mean, how 
absurd. to me every single time I do Aveline's story. Where is he? Every time. Please don't tell me. <laughs> tell me. I don't know. I don't know, I swear. Every time. Adriana brought us. She's at the holding caves north of the city. I can show you the way. No need. I know which ones you speak of. <laughs> then let me go. I beg you. I swear you chose I the wrong master. <laughs> hey, <Adrian>. so mad. <laughs> I was a fool to think I was free. You'll <laughs> never let me be. This is so funny because we've been just like in our own little world. Like, let's help Aveline with her boyfriend troubles. <laughs> and suddenly it's like, <laughs> and then Fenris being like, ah, you know. I don't even care about who Hadriana is right now because I just finished playing through the storyline where I did everything with Fenris and romanced him and had a great time, but I just don't even care right now because I already did that, you know? do never let me be. I'm gonna tell him to calm down and he's gonna hate me. He's gonna like rivalry the hell it's out of me. It's over, Fenris. They're dead. Who cares? <laughs> there will be more. If Hadriana's here, she won't stop. We need to find her. We'll send a message to Daenerys he won't soon forget. This is really funny. Because if you say no, like, he's like, I'm so unhappy right now. You know? You can always do it later. Anyway, but the whole point I'm trying to make is that all I was going to do was go help Aveline with her, with her crush. And now there's only two minutes left in the 30 minutes. And I don't even feel like helping him, so, like, not right now. We probably should help him, though, because that's what Kaisen would do, you know? She would help him even if, because she doesn't believe in slavery. Nobody does in my games, like, obviously, whoever I play isn't going to be like, oh yeah, I think slavery is okay. Fenris, you're, you're an escape slave, whatever, I don't care about it. Nobody would say that in my games. So, why don't we say we'll help him, and then I'll, like, make you a highlights reel of what happened for the next video. How's that sound? That way you don't have to watch the whole thing, because I'm, like, just me playing this for the fourth time is making me impatient, you know? And I'm sure that watching it is not much fun either so we'll do highlights okay it'll be super super fun <laughs> like super mega fun lead the way um, the holding um, caves held slaves in the old times but apparently they are no longer abandoned we must go quickly before hadriana has a chance to prepare or flee because like in terms of justice you know, technically this is more important than Aveline's crush, right? So, this is fair. Anyway, I'm going to end the video here, but the next video we'll start with highlights from Fenris's pursuit of Hadriana, and then we'll move right into helping Aveline with her boy troubles, okay? Catch you on the flip side!